Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about how to use OR and AND condition in validation rule. So before that, here we would like to inform you that we have recently launched a Salesforce course, especially for a Salesforce administrator. And even if you are a beginner, then you can easily, easily understand the topics and the content of the course. And here also a limited time offer of 50% discount for the early birds. And you can get the lifetime access of the course. And you can buy this course through the link that we are mentioned in the description box. This Salesforce admin training course is from the beginner to advanced level. And also have a 9 plus modules with a real business scenario and have a 21 plus hour of HD videos. And we also provide you a course material like PDFs and solution and one to one doubt clear and interview preparation session. And also give a certification of completion and provide the internship and placement opportunities. So you can subscribe this course and learn a lot about the course. So let's move on to our topic. And this is my Salesforce Lightning OR and here we are going to learn how to use OR and AND condition in validation rule in Salesforce Lightning. So for this, we firstly click on the gear icon and select the setup option and then select the object manager tab. And here we are enter the applicant in the search box and click on the applicant object. Our applicant page is open and on the left side, we can see there is a validation rule option present. Click on this validation rule and it will redirect us to validation rule page. And here we want to create the new validation rule for the OR and AND condition. So we click on the new button. Our applicant validation rule page is open. Now enter the rule name and here we are entering the rule name as and then Click on the active checkbox and if you want to edit the description, then you can edit it. Now scroll to the bottom and uh, there is an error condition formula section. Now enter the error condition and here we will apply the condition as or is blank name is blank email. This or condition applies if any field either name or email is blank, the record will not save. The OR it check if any condition from this get true and then the record will not get saved. Is blank. This function check if the field is blank. Name and email. These are the accounts field and we can insert them from the insert field button. Now check the syntax. Click on the check syntax button and here we go. We can see no error found. Now scroll to the bottom. And here we enter the error message and here we are entering the error message as please fill the applicant name or email. Now select the error location and here we select the error location as top of the page and hit the save button. And here we go we can see the applicant validation rule is created successfully. And you can see the error condition formula or is applied. Now click on the app launcher. And enter the applicant in the search box and select the applicants. And our applicant record page is open. And here we want to create the new record. So we click on the new button. And here we enter the applicant name. And here we leave the applicant email as blank and hit the save button. And here we go. The error message occur. Review the following field applicant email. If we Enter the applicant email as uh, this, then hit the save button. Then you can see our record is created successfully. Now move ahead and see how we can use AND condition in validation rule. So for this, we again click on the gear icon and go to the setup option and uh, select the object manager. And here we select the account object. And then click on the validation rule again and uh, we can see our validation rule page is open. Now click on the new button for creating the new validation rule. And here we enter the rule name as AND condition 
and then scroll to the bottom and enter the error condition formula and here we are entering this and condition formula this and condition applies if both field name and email are not blank then only the record will not be saved if any of the fields has a value then the record will save and it checks both the condition from this get true and then the record will not get saved then check whether the entered is correct or not then the condition will save otherwise it will not save now we will check the syntax so click on the check syntax button and here we go we can see no error found and then scroll to the bottom and now enter the error message for this and here we are entering the error message and here we are filling the error message as please fill the account name and email now enter the error location and here we are selecting the error location as top of the page and hit the save button and here we go our account validation rule for the and condition is created successfully now click on the app launcher and select the account object we come to our account record page and here we want to create the new record so we click on the new button and here we enter the account name as test and condition now we fill the complete information and then we hit the save button and here we go our test and condition record is saved successfully so with this we have learned how to use or and and condition in validation rule in salesforce so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching have a great day